Hey everyone, we're going to locate the absolute extremum of the function on the closed interval. So the first thing I want to do is we are going to evaluate the left endpoint and the right endpoint. But I first want to find if there's any critical numbers because they could be our absolute extrema as well. So I'm going to um, take the derivative and when I factor this, I'm going to pull out a 3. We know this is x minus uh, 2 times x plus 2, and we're going to set this to 0. So we have x equals plus and minus 2. However, negative 2 is not in our closed interval here. So we're only going to use x equals 2 and evaluate at x equals 2. So I plug in my 2 to my original equation and I'm going to get 2 cubed minus 12 times 2. That's going to be 8 minus 24 which equals negative um, 16. So I do have a critical value at 2 or critical number at 2 comma negative 16. Now, the only other two values I need to check are 0 and 4. So clearly, when I plug in 0, I'm going to get 0. So 0 minus 0. And again, we're plugging it in here to get 0 comma 0. And then when I plug in 4 for my right endpoint, I'm going to get 4 cubed minus 12 times 4. And that equals um, 16. So let's write all this down. We have our left endpoint. Write it like that. Is 0, 0. Our critical number is at 2, comma, negative 16. And our right endpoint is at 4, comma, 16. So if we want to do our um, absolute minimum and maximum, my, looking at the y, my smallest y is negative 16. So that's going to be your absolute minimum. And my largest y is 16, so that's going to be your absolute maximum. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.